Good evening. The Prime Minister's demand for an early general election looks set to be rejected by MPs after opposition parties agreed it shouldn't take place until after the EU summit in mid-October. Labour, the Lib Dems, the SNP and Plaid Cymru say they won't back the government's bid for an election, declaring they wanted an extension to the Brexit date of October the 31st to guarantee that the UK won't leave the EU without a deal. Mr Johnson, on a visit to Scotland, accused them of making an extraordinary political mistake. It came as the House of Lords approved a bill to prevent a no-deal Brexit. It will get royal assent and become law on Monday. Here's our deputy political editor, John Pienaar. Well Much easier this than leading the country, Boris Johnson's trying to call an election before Brexit to stick to his plan, leave on time, deal or no deal. But he's lost control and he wants it back. We must get Brexit done and that's my message uh, to my colleagues. Let's come together, get this thing over the line and unite our country and then get on with defeating the... Uh, Labour opposition, you know, when they finally have the guts to have an election. You can almost smell the election coming, but he's having to wait. A spectator as his opponents try to force him to give up on a no-deal Brexit, break his promise, maybe his premiership. You keep mentioning October the 31st. You've made it abundantly clear that's your line in the sand. If you can't deliver that, you're going to have to resign, aren't you? That is uh, not a hypothesis I am willing to contemplate. I want uh, us to get this thing done. Today in the Lords, the legislation banning no deal was sent to become law, decreeing this there'd be no election no till Brexit's part. delayed. As many of that opinion will say content. Yes. The contrary not content, the contents have it. Opponents had coordinated their plans. We've agreed that we're not going to give the Prime Minister the general election he is so desperate for until an extension is secured and the risk of no deal is completely eliminated. The Prime Minister is on the run. Boris is broken. We have an opportunity to bring down Boris, to break Boris and to bring down Brexit and we must take that. I want an election, the SNP wants an election, but we will do that when we make sure that the security of our citizens is determined. And you want to weaken Boris Johnson ahead of that election by making him break his word? Well, he has gone out with ridiculous promises of leaving the European Union on the 31st of October. Boris Johnson, that's not going to happen. No sight of Jeremy Corbyn, though he gathered opposition leaders by phone. Labour's Brexit policy is still a work in progress. But the parties joined the alliance that's cornered Boris Johnson. And in Downing Street, they're searching for a plan, any plan, that'll somehow help the PM regain some kind of control. He's sworn he'll never seek an extension to Brexit, but now a new law could force him to do just that. He won't break his word, he can't break the law. Mr Johnson needs to find a way to force an election or salvage his plan to deliver Brexit, maybe without reaching an EU deal first. And in there, there's no sign they've found one. We ask you for an extension, Mr Frost. What chance of a last-minute deal? Britain's Brexit negotiator, David Frost, has been in Brussels today, but the Finnish PM, who's chairing the EU, suggested a no-deal exit could be close. It seems very obvious that uh, we are not getting Brexit with uh, agreement. One ten, one ten. On with the whites and off to Peterhead Market. Campaigning keeps you busy. Haggling's part of the job. Boris Johnson's famously upbeat, but his premiership could still end badly. That was John Pienaar reporting. Well, the High Court has rejected a legal challenge to Boris Johnson's decision to suspend Parliament. The case was brought by the businesswoman Gina Miller, who argued the move was an unlawful abuse of power. She's been allowed to appeal. The case is expected to be heard at the Supreme Court on September the 17th. A similar legal challenge was rejected at Edinburgh's Court of Session earlier this week. That case is also being appealed. The Chief Constable of West Yorkshire Police says he's disappointed that his officers were used as a backdrop to a political speech by Boris Johnson on Brexit yesterday. John Robbins said it was the understanding of the force that any involvement of their officers was solely about the government's police recruitment drive, and that they'd had no prior knowledge the speech would be broadened to other issues.
Well, let's go live to Downing Street tonight and back to John Pienaar. Um, John, this has been an extraordinary week in politics by any measure. But have the Prime Minister's tactics this week misfired, do you think? Boris Johnson's had a wearing, torrid week by any standards. The, the team here still seem bullish enough, but I've watched Boris Johnson closely for many years, and he somehow seemed less confident yesterday and more uncharacteristically subdued today than I've ever seen him. Certainly, some ministers and MPs publicly and privately have their worries about government strategy now. They want, for example, some of them to see those rebels who were sacked as Tory MPs this week given a reprieve. So there were decisions to be taken on the election and on Brexit. The move on Monday to try again to get an early election looks sure to fail. And the ideas that have been chewed over inside Number 10 include, for example, leaving office so as to come back after an election in a stronger uh, position or hoping the EU denies Britain the Brexit that Boris Johnson is so keen to avoid. On all sides of this argument, Rita, it's calculated that if there's an election after an extension of Brexit, the Tory party would suffer, would lose Brexit support, be more vulnerable to the Brexit party. Now, with, with the country so, so split, with politics so polarised, with no government majority at all, there was never going to be much of a breathing space for Boris Johnson, let alone any kind of honeymoon. But I struggle to believe he ever really expected the premiership that he's wanted for so long to turn out to be quite so tough quite so quickly. John, many thanks. John Pienaar there in Downing Street.